All right, welcome back. Now here we're going to do another checkpoint. And so we're going to do the exact same thing that we did in the last example, but we're now going to do it for this function. So I want you to answer these questions. Okay. Find the maximum displacement for A. B is find the frequency. C is find the value of D when T equals four. And then D, find the least positive value of t for which d is equal to zero. Okay, so go ahead and write that down and then work it out and then come back and see if you got the same answers that I got. All right, so go ahead and pause now. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so d equals four cosine of six pi times t. So we know the maximum displacement is going to be four. Okay, so maximum Displacement equals the absolute value of A, which is equal to 4, okay? Uh, the frequency, well, we know the frequency is going to be what? It's going to be um, well, You could use the definition or just use the reciprocal of the period, right? We know the period is what? 2 pi over 6, 6 pi right? And so it's going to be one third. So, um, so if you know the period, remember the period is two pi over omega. Here's omega. So two pi over six pi gives you a third, right? And so we know that the frequency is then three. Right? Period or the yeah the period is uh, one third so that the frequency would be three but let's use the definition right just like I did before so in this case the definition is going to be what it's going to be omega over two pi and then omega is six pi so we're going to plug that in so it's six pi over two pi which equals three so there we go. So the frequency is, is three. Okay, now uh, we want the value of D when T is equal to four. Okay, so let's do that. So D equals four cosine of what? Six pi times four, okay? Which is equal to four times the cosine of 24 pi. And so, well, we know that cosine is 1 at 0, and then every 2 pi, it's going to be at 1. So every cycle is going to go back to 1. And so here we have an even, we could divide this by 2 pi. So cosine of 24 pi is going to be 1, which means the value of this thing is 4 when t is 4. Okay, now, uh, the last one is, what's the least positive value of t for which d is 0? Okay, so again, we're going to set this equal to 0. Okay, so obviously, we can divide both sides by 4, so this would be this, and we get the same thing, so that would be the same thing as just solving this cosine of 6 pi times t equals 0. And so we know what values of t, cosine is 0. Again, what values of t? Uh, when this, let's call this uh, theta, right? So when theta is equal to what? Pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, and so on, right? So now all we have to do is just divide everything by six pi. So that means t is going to be, uh, so this will be equal to zero when t is equal to what? Um, two pi over, uh, pi over two divided by six pi. Three pi over two divided by six pi, and so on. So what's the first one? Let's just do the first one. So 
let's do this. So pi over 2 divided by 6 pi, oops, not 64, 6 pi is equal to pi over 2 times 1 over 6 pi, which is equal to 1 12th. So the answer is going to be 1 12th. And there you go. Have a great day.